basically the European Union has become a complete and absolute vassal of the United States. Man, I mean, I mean, you can't be more of a vassal, more of a colony than what the European Union has become to the U.S. at this stage. I, I mean, just you might as well, uh, I don't know, might as well plant uh, an American flag on the, on uh, EU territory at this moment in time. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, it's cra It's sad in a way. It's sad. Because, you know, the European Union is, is, is surveillance enough. It's enough big brother having the European Union on top of you. Now you have the U.S. on top of the European Union. So, like, for example, in Greece, it's, it's the Greek government. Okay, that's one government. Now you have the EU government on top of the Greek government. Okay, we've lived with that. Now we have the U.S. deep state on top of the EU. And uh, it's... it's, it's it's layers upon layers of, uh, of government and bureaucracy and surveillance and, author and authoritarianism. I mean, it's, this is just, my God, my God. So anyway, that's the video, everybody. I wanted to, I wanted to get that news out to, to everyone because I kept on forgetting about this agreement, this data sharing surveillance agreement that took place between van der Leyen and Biden in Brussels during that NATO summit. Um, while everyone is looking at Ukraine and the conflict in Ukraine and Russia and, and the sanctions and the economic war against Russia, um, this data sharing surveillance agreement wasn't talked about. It just kind of, they slid it in there. They slid it in there that uh, citizens of the European Union will now have all of their data sent to, uh, to the U.S. so it can be monitored by uh, the three-letter agencies.